in here, you're just, you know, a table tennis player, and that's, that's your identity. When my family moved into central London, I started going to London Progress Table Tennis Club in Wilsdon. John Kaufman ran that. They were like the national champions 10 years in a row in the Senior British League, but it was all with homegrown local kids. It had the biggest buzz of any table tennis club, the atmosphere and the energy and the players from all over the world, just about access to opportunity. And the ripples of London progress are vast, including Brighton Table Tennis Club. The day I turned eight and picked up a bat and I was allowed to join the club, never looked back really, so age 22, started the Brighton Table Tennis Club 17 years later and um, this has taken things to the next stage in terms of like the broader community. It's just an amazing leveller in terms of you can have a 10 year old playing a 90 year old. You don't have to speak the same language. The sport is the universal language. Brighton Table Tennis Club means so much to me because it's just like a world class community where I'm quite proud to be part of it. Representing England and wearing their shirt is quite a big opportunity that I can take and hopefully get to the Olympics. Anytime I play in here, make it happy my heart. Every day uh, my speaking is better uh, than yesterday because I come to here talking with uh, my friends. Quite early on we started working with children in care. 13 years later the amount of children that have gone all over the Europe playing table tennis because they're so good, that's one thing that we're particularly proud of. It's a cliche to talk about, you know, a table tennis club or any club feeling like an extended family, but for someone that is in foster care, you know, that is priceless. 2017, we started running a weekly session at High Down Prison, which is a men's prison in Sutton, it's about an hour away. But uh, the first time we went in, it was like, wow, there's huge potential. And over six years, Downview Women's Prison next door, Lewis Prison and Ford Open Prison, which is about an hour that way. And we've had people come in here from Ford Prison on sort of work placement and release for the day, you know. I'm amazed that it's never been done before because table tennis is a massive part of prison culture and prison life. You know, they all meet so many people that have learned to play table tennis while in prison. And it's like the perfect model for improving behavior giving people some sort of sense of purpose while they're inside, doing coaching courses, and then when, when people come out of prison, then hopefully they can find a, a welcoming and supportive table tennis club where they can hopefully stay out of going back into prison, you know? It's huge for the National Lottery to have given us this award. What we'd like to use the funding towards is getting more people playing table tennis in prisons, so more bats and more balls and more all-stars matches being played in prisons that we're currently not working in. The Table Tennis Club's mission is to inspire everyone to be a champion, to instill a lifelong love for table tennis and to give people that positive sense of community. We started from an idea without any funding or anything behind, without any backing, but just the belief that you know we could do something good with table tennis. And 17 years later, there's 70 sessions a week across the city, over 1,500 people playing table tennis in our sessions across Brighton and, and beyond. Tim is a very good person in the world, and I've been. Tim, you are an excellent guy. Thank you very much, Tim. It's my life, I love it.